So I was walking through the store and I was wondering what am I gonna eat for dinner? So I ran into some alligator meat and right away I think about some curry. I'm like whoa why don't I try this meat curry style? I've never eaten it before. This is my first time cooking it and I'm gonna take you guys along with me on this journey. First time on Kenny Good Vibes TV. Here we go. So we have the meat as you can see. It's nice and clean and you know pretty, not, not a lot of fat. And these are pieces of bites, you know, not, not too big and chunky. So very easy. First thing I want to do, I want to make sure I wash it real good because I don't know about this meat. Looks similar to chicken though, but I'm gonna go along and see what I can do to it. So first, they're too big, so I'm gonna cut them up in smaller pieces so they cook real good and the curry soak through. So I'm gonna go in and cut all of these pieces, cut them into two and three pieces just to make sure, you know, the cooking process is very easy. Guys, thank you very much for joining. Now let's go. I cook some curry alligator today. Yes, sir. Clean up, clean up process and cut up. So we're going to go ahead with the marinade now. This is some salt. Don't put a lot of salt because, you know. And this is the curry. So I'm going to put about half pack of this curry into the meat and put the other half pack in the aisle because there's a process also when you're doing curry there's an aisle process all right black pepper sprinkle with love some brown rub it's like an all-purpose barbecue rub sprinkle with love guys and then never leave out the obey you know the obey always give your meat a nice taste yeah man sprinkle with love and can go ahead and you know give that a nice mix up and if you see like it needs some more feel free give it some more you know so this is about i would say about a pound of the alligator meat look at that curry start setting in there whoa look like chicken you know and trust me it don't look too tough it look kind of soft yeah mm. Gee, look at that you don't know what it is <laughs> well today I am gonna find out how this tastes now left out the garlic you know garlic soften things and give it that nice taste yeah so I put a piece of crushed garlic two cloves of crushed garlic in there and mix that up so this is the night before the same day I buy it so I'm gonna put a piece of wrap over it a piece of plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator till tomorrow all right so i'm marinating this for at least say uh, 24 hours all right it's what time 7 30 in the morning and i'm about to cook my gator so i can get to take it to work for my lunch all right so let's take it out the fridge see what it looks like and move on looking real set and ready mm, yes yeah man it looks set and look like it's ready i got here my curry powder the process for the curry powder is to put some curry in the oil itself to make that burn if you don't burn the curry it's gonna hurt your belly i got my cooking oil let's get it on so I have the oil and the fire for about 2 minutes till it gets hot enough and my stove is turned up to halfway. Alright, so I go ahead and sprinkle some of this curry and mix it around. Don't let it burn in one place, you're gonna mix it around and make sure it reaches all the pot bottom. So when you put the meat in there easily, that burned curry spread all over the meat by the time you stir it for the first time. Yeah. You see how the curry look real sim and that season look like it's in there. We're gonna go ahead and drop that inside the pot right now. Mm. Guys, if you could smell this just by the meat touching the curry in the pot, that burned curry, 
give it a wonderful aroma yes alligator meat you know for the first time right here on kenny good vibes tv of course you go and cover that and make that simmer up and see if it's gonna bring some water but guys it is frothing up a little bit <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here but everything is good still at a normal thing yeah man so after a couple of minutes you know you keep checking on that because i don't know how this meat cooks so i keep checking on it up and try it if it's tough or it's soft and it's pretty soft i would say it's a cross between fish and chicken so in the meantime i have some green seeds some green vegetable i prepare you know for that you know you don't know some irish potato some onion carrot you know garlic sweet pepper you understand yeah man so them things they get ready up for the pot i cut all of these in almost the same size because i want them to cook equally you know and judging from how soft the meat is i am gonna put them when it's halfway cooked all right yeah so I'm gonna put all these in one container and put aside garlic in there, make sure you have some garlic and I put a one hot pepper, which is optional because not a lot of people like hot pepper. But after a couple of minutes and looking at this meat, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mmm, smell good, come along, me taste it. Mm -mm, not bad, not bad. Coming along. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you guys, all this need right now is a vegetable. Mm. Curry alligator. Lord God. Give it a couple minutes again and check back. This is in about 20 minutes time. You know? This is where we reach at about 20 minutes. As I say, in between that, I keep checking on it just to make sure. I didn't put a lot of water. So I keep checking on it. See how soft the meat is. I know that it's time to add my vegetable guys it is so soft I, it surprised me because i thought it was gonna be tough but no it's not tough mm. cover that up and give it a couple more minutes you know give it like about three four minutes and you know at this point i'm gonna go ahead and add my vegetable it's almost cooked so why not add the vegetable and give it the next seven eight minutes by then my irish potato and the carrot which is the toughest thing in, in there right now will be real cooked and ready to eat stir that up make everything blend into one and look at that wonderful curry alligator yeah man after a couple minutes wow if you could smell this it's time to share with my lunch <laughs> yeah man let me tell you man mm, wonderful this turned out to be so good. Yeah, man, guys, feel free, man. Nothing wrong with trying something new sometime, you know? Look how beautiful that turned out to be. Hey, remember to hit the subscribe button, you know, man. Please. Yeah, man. I have some leftover left. And I didn't have any plan for breakfast, so I go ahead and make me an alligator sandwich. Wow, look at that alligator sandwich. This one never planned, guys. Look at that meat. You see how it's white and looking like a cross between fish and chicken? That's what I'm talking about. And it tastes the same way, too. Mm -hmm. See that? Alligator sandwich. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> Hold on. I go and drink a red stripe with this, just in case. A red stripe conquer everything. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Most sickle. Can't do me nothing. <sighs> Actually pretty good. Mm. A gator sandwich. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Yes, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Mm. If you have not yet subscribed, we are waiting, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. 
Can I get a piece of my gator sandwich? <laughs> Kenny Goodbye TV said, I'm out. Have a blessed weekend.